I got brought onto the film when there was already a pretty good cut, uh, and I watched it through a couple times. Super heartbreaking film, did, did a lot of crying, uh, and started figuring out what kind of a score uh, that the film wanted to have. We originally thought that strings and percussion and piano and plucked string instruments of different kinds would kind of be what the score was based on. And when it started out, it was half that stuff and then half uh, kind of ambiguous instruments. And Carrie was really gravitating towards the more ambiguous instruments. So we decided that it would be cool to just try to completely replace all of the orchestral stuff with these more ambiguous sounds. So we started using a lot more, uh, a lot more of the bowed acoustic guitar we were already using. We started using a lot of bowed cymbals, a lot of wine glass, uh, bowing a wine glass with your finger. Sampling these instruments and putting them through a bunch of processing. There's this technique where violin players will mute the strings of their violin and hit the strings with the wood of their bow. And it's this kind of like high, uh, creepy, atonal percussion sound. And we thought it would be so cool to expand on that concept and make an entire drum kit out of string instruments. So we took rags and put them underneath the strings of a bunch of different instruments. A violin, a ukulele, a guitar, a dulcimer, an upright bass. We rigged a little kick pedal chopstick up to the upright bass so it could be played with a kick pedal. And we got a drummer to kind of play uh, these different string instruments as a drum kit. And then that kind of gives way into these uh, wine glass pads. Having that kind of sound for the score makes it feel a lot more ambiguous. And the journey that all the characters take is a fairly ambiguous, anxious journey. And I, I think that those kinds of sounds were what the film was asking for.